And today we're going to be installing a kitchen faucet. We went with the Tuscany Baden. This was purchased at Menards. Moen makes a similar product that we'll link down below that you can purchase on Amazon. And the reason why we have, we're have doing this style today is because we have a three hole kitchen faucet. So the sprayer has to be included in the three holes and not off to the side like uh, you see in most models. So we purchased this one from Menards and I'll show you how to install it. Other faucets that have the same setup where they're the three hole plate and the sprayer is in the right hole of the plate, they will install the same way. So you can use this video if you're, even if you have a different brand such as the Moen. Before I drop the faucet, into the holes. I wanted to show you what the bottom of it looks like. This Tuscany brand does not come with the extensions already attached, so you have to purchase the extensions to go down to the shutoff valves. There are different styles. I usually get these pre-made ones. They have the rubber gaskets in them, so you don't need any sealants or anything. These screw on to these. You have to do it once you have the sink already mounted already put down through and do this from underneath because these connections won't fit through the center hole on that sink but I thought it'd be easier to show you how to do it before I stick it on. You need to use two wrenches and use one of them to grab the back nut on this right here and then use the other wrench to tighten this on. If you don't do that then you'll twist this copper piece and you can break the faucet by twisting this off or smashing it. Most of the faucet installation is done from underneath the sink. So you just place the bottom plate right here and drop the sink or the faucet down through and it will seat down onto that base plate. And then we'll be attaching the bottom on. There is a rubber gasket, a metal gasket, and they kind of hook together. And then this large nut will screw on there. You want to loosen these Phillips head screws up first and then you screw this part up underneath there and then you can go around and tighten the Phillips head screws individually to get it mounted straight. One step that I forgot to show is when you're placing the plate down on top of your holes, uh, I silicone around the outside of this before I set the plate down and that seals it so water can't get underneath there. Some people say that's not necessary, but it is recommended by the manufacturer. The next step is installing your connections. I like to do the top first and then the bottom. So you need to make note of which one is the hot and which one is the cold. They say on there. Once you have the top done, you can do the bottom side. Again, make sure you have the hot and the cold on the right side. The hot is typically on the left. If you have a dishwasher that's connected, it will be connected into that one. And that's one way to tell. Now that the faucet is all hooked up, we can do the sprayer. You'll uh, drop the sprayer piece with this little rubber gasket thing on it down through the top and secure it to the bottom with this piece. Next, we can speed the sprayer hose down through the holster. Most sprayers anymore use a 
push connection on the end of this. So this will just shove into the sprayer port on the bottom there. They used to have a screw on piece, but again, it's hard to get down there with a crescent wrench sometimes. Shove it in, be sure and tug on it a little bit, make sure it doesn't come out. Now that everything's hooked up, you can turn your water back on and you want to look for leaks. If these shutoff valves are not the quarter turn ones, then they often will leak back here after they've been turned off and turned back on. To fix that, you just grab a hold of it with a wrench or a pair of adjustable pliers like I have here and tighten that packing nut just a little bit and that should stop it a drip coming out from back there tested my faucet i've checked it all over haven't found any leaks so i think we're all good this is how you install a faucet by tuscany please like and subscribe and we'll see you back here next time